We spent the last two days fishing here in Destin, Florida, and we've got some amazing fish. Check this out. All right, let's start off. I mean, we got some of the best eating fish in the world here. We'll start off with the big boy here. A lot. Ah, it's amazing. Look at that. Dude, he's got to be for a pound. Gag grouper. That's nice right there. Wow. Nice fish. Okay. Another gag grouper. Even a bigger one. Eh? That's yours, Preston. It's the one that got. You can see the propeller mark on it. You got pre tender on it. Just think it's your gag. That's a yellow edge nice grouper. Oh my gosh, dude. How many these things we got? We got five. He still looks like he's brand new, dude. Look at that. It's like a Wow. <laughs> he was still swimming around in there. <laughs> dude, that's, that's over that's way over hundred pounds. Yeah, that's over hundred pounds. That's insane. No doubt. <laughs> dude, that's heavy. <laughs> now is it a tradition for you to peg your fish? We do it for our, our customers when they want to. But no, not necessarily a tradition. Not a tradition, okay. All right, we're gonna start with the wahoo. There we go. <coughs> Beautiful. Look at that piece of wahoo. Look at that wahoo, me boys. Yeah, buddy. Yellow edge. This is our golden tile right here. Should be just two fillets. It's not. Right. There's the tile yellow fish. Edge. Yellow edge. Four fillets of yellow edge, right? All right, there's the yellow edge. All right, All right, so that's the filet here. Good cowboy. Knock so that out. Cowboys, you take the skin off. Another filet out. That's yellow edge. Yellow edge, yep. I'm going to yeah. give the gag cowboy. Hey, are we keeping the cheek meat on these groupers? No. Why not? Not big enough. That one's big enough. You're going to get a little Guys, base, so base gallop out of it. Getting this cheek meat out of these fish, guys. This is the best tasting grouper in the world than the cheek meat. It's the best tasting piece of meat in the world. I've never felt so much pressure in my life. I'm just trying to clean the fish, taking my time, making sure I don't miss any meat. These guys are harassing me. They're jabbing at me. Hurry up, Josh. Josh, let's me. go. Gosh, oh. Me. Dude, Give I literally cleaned how many fish we have. Can I have, uh, your, can I have your knife, cowboy? <laughs> hey, 15. yo, can I have your knife? Because this thing's like a butter knife. Give me doll knives. Hey, cowboy, help me, cowboy. Cowboy, can you help me? Yeah, cowboy, thank you. You're welcome, man. Oh, wow, look at that. It actually cuts that through the meat. It's got that freaking cheek meat bag. Oh He's gone, dude. Are you serious right now? Absolutely. Gone. No, 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 he did not. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, my gosh. I guess we can go by the fish market. <laughs> Where's that pelican at? <laughs> Don't lose my knife, dude. That's a rare knife. Josh. Josh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got me too. Snag <laughs> <laughs> right out of the air. Don't, don't, don't do that with me. The only thing that makes me uncomfortable with this fish, dude, is the spines, bro. They got me extremely uncomfortable. No, the spines on the door, on the fins, dude. They just sketch me out. The last piece of snowy. So we got snowy, wahoo, yellow edge, gag grouper, and tilefish. And we got the cheek meat. Yeah. Uh, now, y'all want to throw in the cheek meat, <laughs> so I'm claiming the cheek meat. No one else touching cheek meat except me. I might be nice enough to give you a piece. But you're about to feed us the pelicans, and that's unacceptable in my brother. So we're gonna go back now to Preston's house and start cooking. We're back here in Preston's kitchen, and it's time to start cooking some of the best fish in the world. But you're not cooking. I'm, I'm not cooking. <laughs> not doing it tonight, but <laughs> I hired two-time winner in Destin, best chef. Best and chef in Destin. Best chef in Destin, uh, co-owner of Doc on the Island, Chef Tommy. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Guys, yeah, so, how you doing? Tommy's a fisherman, and he's, dude, I, I, I have to ask, are you more passionate about cooking or fishing? Cooking. Really? Really, really. Oh, dude. <laughs> I get too seasick. passionate, guys, I get, I get, I get, I get I seasick too, bro. We well, got a lot in common. Yeah, I don't like throwing up, so you yeah. know. I stick to the cooking. You, you eat good food all the time. That's right. All right, let's start cooking. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So this is our uh, off the bone raw wahoo. It's the best part of the meat right there for sushi. All right, you try. You want to go first? Oh, we're gonna do it at the same time. I'm gonna cheers you. Okay. So we you dip it in here. Yeah. I'm gonna scoop it. Nice. Okay. Mm. 
freaking good. That's really good. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for all the people <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm good. So I learned this trick from my buddy, Dr. Borrego. He, he, he's a big time Wahoo fisherman. And what he would do when he would fillet a Wahoo, and he just ate it off the bone. And like he would take the, the, the thin layer off the bone that you miss, mm -hmm. that's the best tasting piece and of Wahoo. He'd take a spoon and skin it yeah, off? Yeah, that's what we definitely do here. Just, just take it off and that's what you put in the meat. Yeah, kind of like you do with the tuna, huh? Yeah. yeah that's good. That's good, dude. That was real good. You've seen my, um, we did this with the Kobe and Triple Tail, the uh, onion dish, and the, but he's gonna, Put it on steroids right now. He's gonna take this to the next level. You cook your onions? I put them in with the thing and let them all cook together. Cook down? Cool. Yeah, yep. so you're gonna put it in here. Hold on. Not yet. You wanna look at the cheeks? So they say this is the juiciest part because all they do is open their mouth all their whole life. Yeah. Open and close. Open and close. Let me explain my dish to you. So what, what I do is I put, them, I put it in there uh -huh. with uh, butter, lemon, onions, and then some, some spices. Okay. Some parsley, some rosemary. Is it rosemary? I got some time right here if you want to use it. Yeah, we use that. But I want you to take my dish and let's, 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 let's You want to elevate it up? Yes. Let's do, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. That's garlic butter? Yes. Garlic infused butter. So we roast whole garlic cloves at the restaurant in butter uh -huh. through our pizza oven. And then when we take the garlic cloves out, we strain off all the butter and we reuse it for That's our amazing. seasoned butter. Yeah, give it a little different that. dimension. So we're going to do salt and pepper. Uh -huh. And they're not going to take as long, so we'll go ahead and put my onions in. So you see how it's starting to get white around the edges? Yeah. So when you start to see a brown crust and start to develop, that's when you know you're brown about, crust. Brown crust. That's how you know you're about three fourths of the way cooked. All right. You should only flip a fish one time. Grab our beurre blanc. Just remember, extra cheese. just remember, extra is just the right amount. All right. And then parmesan cheese. Yeah, you got it, man. All right, here we go. Ready? Is that good? I think it's good. What you think? I think that's that's extra, extra, extra cheesy. Yeah, it's middle rack. How long you want it in there for? Right, let's put it in there a good six minutes. Six minutes? 125 degrees, give it a nice little crust on it. Six. This is the Wahoo. And we're gonna go ahead and butterfly it down. Cut it into manageable sizes for our fish tacos. Man, it's so like butter. I've never had Wahoo tacos before. No? No. I like it because it's got this nice, firm, yeah. steaky pieces. So that's what you'll get inside your taco. Similar to Cobia. Similar, it'll be perfect. So they'll both stand up just like that. So you'll have a piece of Wahoo and every bite in your taco. It'll be delicious. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Is it mildewy? That's, that's kind of scary. Why? Because it looks too good. Uh, I'm like, is it burning? Game over. Game over. Do you think that's going to be the best dish? Uh, that's snowy and, and golden edge. Golden, whatever you call it. That's going to be close edge. to the best dish. Put a little more cheese on it? Yeah, like I said, too much is just enough. Dude, that's unreal. This is the reject meat. I mean, should I put the whole thing on? I got you. All right, here we go. You already up. piped a couple cheeks or what? <laughs> Hold on, huh? he's, he's finishing it, he's finishing it. Everyone just, just chomp, calm down, he's finishing it. It's still hot, look at that. Hang on, bro. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. This was the reject meat, remember that? Hey, are we keeping the cheek meat on these groupers? No. Why not? Not big enough. I'm so glad I decided to keep that. No, 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 no. Back <laughs> off now. Back off now. <laughs> that is the real. And them onions is what really makes the dish, isn't it? Uh, it is. It, it really is. is. It's all but the onions, dude. That is unreal. See, if you don't put onions on your dish, on, on, on the fish, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. you oh can you explain why? That really is good though. Oh my god. So this is, this is mm. the. Wait, the rest where did this come from? You should serve us in your restaurant. I should. Yeah. What would we call it? Black Tip Special. Black Tip Special? Yeah, no, you can call it. You know, you don't know, you know, you know, even name it. Dude, Cowboy, you guys heard it. He told me to throw away. He was going to throw away this This Whatever's on this plate right now, he's about to throw it away. Now, I want you to grab a fork and see what trash tastes like. It's really good, man. It's only really good, or is it phenomenal? That's great, dude. And you got any really other words? Good. Really good, great. <laughs> Pretty simple, it's great. It's good, man. Yeah. Wow. Not much emotion there, folks. <laughs> no, I'll show you some emotion real quick. Yeah, yeah, show me some emotion, good, man. <laughs> I've cooked that kind of dish with the onions for the past two ketchup cooks, but you have, I think you just perfected it. Oh, it's good, I love it. Dude, it's really I mean. Good. I, think, I think I'm gonna start bringing some cheeks to the restaurant. And that's bro, gotta go on. That is like life changing. So we call it the black tip grouper cheek special. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Bro, that's, that sounds like a good deal. You put your autograph on the menu for me? Sure. Cool. Let's do that. <laughs> all right, so we're bringing in Chef Steph and that was cook all this fish. There's a little too much fish for me and Josh to handle. Yeah, so it's a lot of fish. Bringing our expert griller over here. So he's gonna 
Help we, us out. We got corn, we got asparagus. We got a little grilled zucchini inside with the crawfish. And you're black gonna be cooking crawfish the tile fish. Yep, and the wahoo. Fish. The wahoo, black and wahoo. Very nice. Yep. yep. Tile fish, we're gonna go with these Mexican street corn. Wahoo, we're gonna do some Jamaican jerk tacos. That's gonna be really, really awesome. Tile fish, a little salt and pepper. Steph, you wanna throw it on the grill for me? I'm gonna slide right behind you, get over here with this corn. This is a little bit of garlic aioli. Wow, that looks amazing, dude. That's a tile fish. So we basted it with the garlic aioli while I was on the grill. Finished it off with a little bit of Cajun crunchies and local cilantro. It's so flaky, it's just falling apart. It's so apart. flaky. Oh my gosh, that smells so amazing. Dude, I'm gonna take a little piece right now. I just wanna try it. Hey, you can just take this piece. Here we go. You wanna try it? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> can you try that? Wow, it's a very nice texture, that tile fish, man. Yeah. That is really good. Very flaky, mild. Yeah, it's extremely flaky. Right here. Gonna lay them right here, and then we're gonna sprinkle the jerk sauce all over them. It's gonna be awesome. Butter, garlic. Is that the garlic butter we used? Yeah, the garlic infused butter. This has onions and cilantro. Onion, cilantro, that's it? And our coastal vinaigrette? Yeah, coastal vinaigrette. So this is for the snowy. Snowy. Yeah, all right, here we go. Let's get the snowy on here. That looks amazing. This is gonna be a sweet corn butter. We sweet took corn butter? Yeah, we took that same local uh, Alabama corn that we grilled off and put that Cajun spice on. We took it, grilled it on the grill to bring out the natural sweetness in it. Some cream, some garlic, some thyme, some butter. Blended it all together. So on this one, this is from the islands, our second entree off the menu. And we got the Jamaican jerk, black sesame rice, grilled summer squash, and then the gag grouper. And we're gonna finish it a little bit of caramelized pineapple butter. All right, so this is gonna be our bayou edition of the, of the menu. We wanted to bring a little Cajun to it, because I feel like a lot of good fishing comes from Louisiana. So I like to really influence that part of our country. So here we're gonna do our black and house spiced fish that I've already explained to you before. Yep, that's the yellow edge. So we did our house, house black and the spice and the yellow edge. We paired it up with a little bit of local uh, asparagus, some black and crawfish and blue cheese, potato au gratin, and some of our legendary garlic butter. So then we're gonna finish the Bayou Boy with a little bit of lemon garlic butter to mild out all those spices and really give you a complete dish. So we got, this is yellow edge, this is snowy, this is gag. All right, so this is our from the islands dish off the menu. Underneath you have your Jamaican jerk, um, seasoned rice, grilled summer squash. So we'll get a little thing of rice, a little piece of squash on there. Grab the gag grouper. And then make sure we get a bunch of this sauce because it's the jam. Right. Then right here in the middle, this is my personal favorite. I'm from the south and I really love it. So this is gonna be our loaded mashed potatoes. It has cream cheese, sour cream, scallions, and then right here is going to be our southern collard greens. They're the best collard greens. We use apple cider vinegar, creole mustard, bourbon, and a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. So here we have the snowy grouper, and it's topped off with the sweet corn butter to really bring out the nice sweetness in those collard greens. This right here is our blackened crawfish and blue cheese potato gratin. Man, that is just fantastic right there. So we'll put that at the bottom. we get some asparagus. And then what is this, Josh? That's yellow edge. That's the yellow, oh this is, I like yellow edge too. And that's topped off with the garlic butter. We've all tried every species. Drew, what's your favorite? Snowy for sure. Snowy? Luke, how about you? Tilefish for sure. Tilefish? Yes sir. Preston? I have to go to Snowy. Snowy? All right, Snowy's winning, two to one. Cowboy? 9.9. Do you like the gang? 9.9 and a 10. Oh, no. oh, so Snowy is oh, yeah, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, All right, well, I think Snowy's has already won. Because it can't, it can't win, but I'm going to say Snowy, too. Yeah, absolutely. But, hold on now. And he's going to back me up. I mean, Preston probably backed me up, too. He tried to throw it away, didn't he? Overall, <laughs> best dish was the cheeks. Grouper cheeks, by far. It was, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, what were you pressing? Phenomenal. Yeah, man, I mean, they, did, they, did the cheeks win? That's one of those things, though, it's not a meal, you know? It's like, it's something you have before your meal, and yeah, I mean, they were 
Unbelievable. 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 What you think, Cowboy? Unbelievable, man. It was really good. Yeah, I love throw it. Away, huh? The Wahoo tackle. The Wahoo yeah, he tackle. wanted to throw yeah. them away. Yeah, the Wahoo ta away. Uh, tacos was unbelievable, man. Everything was. Dude, yeah. guys, this guy right here. This guy. Oh, don't, don't forget about the man stuff. Both these guys yeah, are job, epic yeah. chefs. Uh, thank you so much. We really Dude, appreciate it. If people are in Dustin, where do they go? Yeah, the Dock on the Island. They go to, and that's where they go to eat your food? Yeah, that's where you have to go. It's the only place they can go, right? That's the only place you can go and get perfectly cooked, snowy, yellow edge grouper, tile fish. Well, I mean, we pretty much showed it to you. We oh, cooked yeah. five different kinds of species, five different ways. And it was all good. And it was yeah. all good. Perfect. You guys want to, if you guys are here, seriously, his link's in the description. Go and check that out. And also, right there, Kathy Preston and all these guys, Golf Anger Charters, check them out. If you want to catch the fish and then go and cook the fish, these two guys right here, this whole group, this is where you want to go. If you guys are in Destin, check them out. Their links are in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm probably really hungry by now because this was all really good. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Sorry, I missed that. Could you send it in? <laughs> <laughs>